Hi everybody, it's your boy DJ Market back again. Welcome to the Music Bank Show. This is a, a documentary on Juice World. Um, as you know, he he spelled he used to spell it without the O. Juice World, a chap called Gerard Anthony Higgins. He was born in December nineteen ninety eight, the second of December. He unfortunately passed away um twenty one years later on December eighth, two thousand and nineteen. And he was an, an an American rapper. He was from Chicago. He also used to sing as well. Uh, his song is one of the most streamed songs on Spotify over one billion times. Which, and you might be aware of it. It's called Lucid Dreams. Um, and it's this along with his earlier single, All Girls Are The Same, which helped him secure a record contract with... Lily Bib Lil Bibby's uh, Grade A Productions and and Interscope Records, and these also were two singles which were included on his debut album, Goodbye and Good Riddance, which was in two thousand and eighteen, and that was um that that was a platinum uh, selling record. And it it was it was it was critically acclaimed really it was really critically acclaimed uh. He had three singles on there, which all charted, which were Wasted, Arms and Dangerous, and Lean With Me. And he also collaborated, you might know, of a rapper called Future on the mixtape called World on Drugs, which is also in 2018. And then in, in 2019, he released a, a, a second album called Death Race for Love, and that reached number one, number one on the... Uh, on the Billboard 200, which the main singles on there were Robbery and Hear Me Calling. And, yeah, so Jared, um, as I said before, he was born in Chicago. Um, he grew up, allegedly, um, in the south suburbs, and then initially in Calmet Park, and then he moved to Homewood. And he went to somewhere called Homewood Flossmoor High School. And allegedly, um, he came from a quite conservative and religious family. But his interest in music really developed during his first year of of high school. He he released a track on SoundCloud in 2015 under the name Juice the Kid. He's obviously got this fascination with this the juice name and and he's he's kept that he changed it from juice to kid obviously um to to juice world and what he did initially was he in fact recorded most of his tracks on 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 a on a on mobile phone a cellular phone which he, he uploaded um to, to to soundcloud he was inspired to change the name allegedly um by the film uh juice to change it to juice world um he was inspired due to his, um, well, something that he really liked as a rapper, Tupac, um, who, were, who was in that film, Juice World representing Taking Over the World. So fast forward to 2017, he, his first track was produced by somebody called Nick Mira, Too Much Cash, and that was released in 2017. And across this time, um, Higgins, Higgins, um, Jared had, had been working in a factory, but he 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 quit after. Well, he he left the factory. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but he he didn't stay for long, and he joined uh, a collective called Internet Money, um, to release uh, s- some some EPs, and this was in Ju- on June fifteenth, two thousand seventeen, and that's where the song Lucid Dreams broke out, and he started really really growing his his following. He got some attention from people um, like Waka Flucka, G Herbo and Lil Bibby. And he thereafter signed with Lil Bibby's uh, co-owned record label. So in December 2017, he released a free song EP called Duffing's Different, which was featured on quite a few uh, hip hop blogs. And quite soon after that, in February February uh, twenty eighteen, 
Interscope's record signed um, Juice World, and one of the songs that was um, praised on 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 the uh, the, the, the that he released was called "All Girls Are the Same." Fast forward to uh, later on that year, May fourth, two thousand and eighteen. Lucid Dreams was released as a single and also had a, a music video as well. And that, that that came in at two in the Billboard Hot 100. It was actually one of the most streamed songs of 2018. As I said earlier, eventually it went on to be streamed at least one billion times and no doubt it's continually streamed uh, to, 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 to this day. He released also a song called Wasted featuring Lil Uzi Vert on July 10th, 2018. And yeah, the the single feature in the collaboration wasn't as successful because it peaked at 667 on, on, on the Billboard Hot 100. But he, he said that he would be uh, working on his next album so between 2018 and 2019 the 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 main sort of uh music that he was working on was world on drugs death race for love and death now so juice world was featured on travis scott's um song no bystanders, which was from Travis Scott's third studio album, Astro World. Um, Sheck Wes was also on that one. This is the song that peaked at number thirty one, on the Billboard Hot one hundred. And yeah, Jared uh, made his way onto the Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel live show, August eighth, two thousand eighteen, to perform the the song which was so streamed, Lucid Dreams, and a music video. Uh, for the song called Armed and Dangerous was released on October the 15th, 2018. There's nev- uh, there's a single that followed that which was called Fine Chi- China, which was a collaborative mixtape with Future. And that mixtape was eventually released on October 19th, 2018. He also had some um involvement in, allegedly, in the soundtrack for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, yeah, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That was a... I think that was an animated uh, cartoon-type feature with a Afro-American slash Latino uh, in, the, in, in the lead role and other types of Spider-Man uh, people from other dimensions who were involved in... In, in that movie, that's that's the sort of plot as far as I, I can remember about that movie, which was quite a good movie actually. But yeah, he had a uh, contribution to the soundtrack for that one. And the song that he contributed featured an American singer called Cezin. Um It was titled Hide. Now, uh, somebody called Ski Master Slump God said that he would re- release a joint mixtape with Juice World in 2019, and they also announced a tour, which was proposed for 30 concerts across North America. Uh, at this point, March 8th, 2019, uh, a studio album was released by Juice World, which contained the singles Hear Me Calling and Robbery, and that topped the Billboard 200 charts. This this is a guy who was making... T- significant headway in the music industry his music was selling really really well he was doing all sorts of different types of collaborations i've already mentioned future i've mentioned travis scott he was appearing on talk shows jimmy kimmel Kimmel live and he also uh, i've mentioned collaborations well he went on a tour with uh Nicki minaj and it was it was actually called the Nicki World Tour with Nicki Minaj. Yeah, so that, uh, later on he um released a music video called Fast from the album, 
and other singles included All Night, Hate Me, Run and Bandit, which she collaborated on that with um, NBA Youngboy. So he was making significant headway. Uh, I won't be going into great detail about the circumstances of his death, save to say uh, that he it did involve an aeroplane and and some some level of intoxication allegedly um and it's very unfortunate that he he passed away at a very young age 21 um i want to say rest in peace juice world he had a major impact on the industry and he's his catalog again in the you know, similar to pot smoke in a very short piece of time, a sort of short transition of time, just left a significant mark on the the music industry, not only in America, the Billboard of which I've mentioned a, a lot, but across the world. If you mention the name Juice World, I guess in any city, there's going to be somebody who knows who you're talking about. So, rest in peace, uh, Juice World. Uh, uh, I, sh- I give respects to your family and for now and um, that's a wrap in relation to this this documentary piece thank you very much for listening and watching make sure you sub- like and subscribe to the music bang show click the notification bell to be informed of future videos it's your boy dj market Let's go. Showcasing the best of, of music. Period. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go.